I'm not even sure if I want to do this, y'all. Anyway, it's your boy, G-Man the Trucker. Back with another video today. Um, this topic, it's going to ruffle some feathers. That's a disclaimer. I want to put this. It might ruffle some feathers. But just know that I don't mean no harm by it. I'm just speaking truthful from the heart. And if you're not a person, if you can't take you know, uh, you can't handle the truth, then this is not gonna be a video for you, okay? Um, I just got a text message from a buddy of mine who's, uh, he's been looking for uh, another trucking job. Um, and he asked me if where I work at, they were hiring and I said yeah I think they were but I'm not sure if they still are um, I said, but the best thing you can do is go up on the website usually on the website they'll tell you what location they have where it's listed under careers they'll tell you what location they have and what location they're hiring out of so I told them that and um a lot of times, you know, when people want you to hook them up with jobs, or whatever case may be, they want you to do all the work for them. I'm not going to do all the work for you. You got to do some of the work yourself. Okay, with that being said, so I told them, I said, you know, go to my website, apply for it, and, you know, take it from there. And he asked me this one infamous question. This is a question that almost everybody asks me. I wonder if y'all can figure out what that question is. I'm going to give y'all a second to think about it. What do y'all think the question was? Actually, it's kind of like a two-part question. But... <laughs> the question he asked me was... Do they give y'all drug tests... People, 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 people. I tell you no lie. If I had a dollar for every time a person has asked me that question, I wouldn't have to work no more. <laughs> I'd be able to sit at home and would not have to work anymore. There's something about that when people ask me that question. It, it, it burns me up, man. It burns me up. It lights a fire inside me. Um, because... When you're out here driving these commercial vehicles, you should not be a, under the influence of no type of drugs, no alcohol. I mean, you should, that should be the farthest thing from your mind. Okay? Um, next question is, um, <clears throat> do they hire felons? <clears throat> now, let me go on record to say, I get that. Um, I'm, not, I'm not here to judge anybody. We all have a past. Uh, we all have done things in our past that we're not proud of. Some of us got away with it. Some of us weren't so fortunate. So I get that. As far as people ask me that question, uh, do they hire fellow and stuff like that? Um, I mean, the good thing is you're making a change in your life or you're trying to change in your life. So I don't look down on people when they ask me, you know, do they hire felons? But with that being said, now, if you just got out of prison last week because you went in there for armed robbery or you killed somebody or, you know, drunk driving or whatever the case may be, we all know damn well you're not going to get a job that easy, especially in the trucking industry, that easy. So, I mean, that's just one of those questions like, come on, man, don't ask me. But question really bothers me the most is when people ask me, do they do drug, do they take drug tests? Oh, what, do they take drug tests? Uh, 
What kind of yarn test do they take? Do they take, uh, uh, I mean, do they do, uh, is it, uh, I'm sorry, what type of urine test they What type of drug test do they take? Is it, um, they do a urine sample or do they do a hair follicle? What difference does it make? I don't give a damn, they did a blood sample, okay? You should not want to use drugs. I, I mean, someone help me understand. Help me understand, what is it so bad about, what is it that, you know, that makes you want that you, that you need a drug that bad? I mean, most of us get in trucking for one reason or another. You know, it's because number one, we got tired of the damn jobs that we were at. Got, you know, we were making, you know, low wages, or we just wanted to better, better ourselves. With that being said, we're bettering yourself shouldn't changing your whole aspect of your life, changing your whole perspective on life, shouldn't that be part of changing yourself and want to better yourself? I mean, I could think of a hundred million ways I can get high, you know, mentally. You know, I'm just naturally high on life. You know, I don't have to abuse and use drugs to have a good time. You know, just um, just me waking up and seeing another day and being able to breathe is 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 high enough for me. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, man. I just I want to hear from y'all. You know, um, maybe you're maybe you know you're one of them that you know you you, you need to. To, to get high, to, 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 you know, conduct your day. Um, you know, smoke weed or um, sniff a little lines or whatever ter terminology they use for these drugs and whatever type of drugs they use, um, maybe that's what you need. Or maybe you might know somebody who's, on, you know, who's dealing with a problem. You know, alcoholic, drug addict, and, um, Maybe you had a conversation with them and maybe they spoke to you about it. Uh, maybe they want to try to get into the truck and, and um, they just can't quit. <clears throat> but for the most part, I think most of the truckers that I, most of the people that are already truckers and are looking to switch companies and want to come to where I'm at or come to any other company they might be asking me about, or just most of the people who want to get into the truck and period. It's not a habit. It's more of a, pastime if you will it's more of something they like to do you know um, I don't I don't necessarily think that marijuana is an addict is an addiction I just think it's something they like to do and for some reason they just refuse to give it up um, I don't know man yeah let me know it's just it just bothers my mind that you know he sent me that so yeah man um I'm tired of the company I'm at, and I'm still about coming over to where you are. Uh, let me ask you a question. Do they hire felons? And I'm like, you know, they may. You know, that's one thing a lot of people fail to realize is there are a lot of trucking companies that will hire people who have felonies. Uh, nine times out of ten, it depends on how old the felony is. I know most companies, uh, if it's like five, six, seven, eight years or longer, they'll, they'll give a person a shot. If it's, you know, a year, six months, probably not. But even though, even with that, that doesn't mean give up on it. You know, you still keep trying, still keep trying, still keep trying. You know, for every 10 doors that's closed, there's gonna be one that's gonna open. And that's why you need to look at it. Um, but. As far as the drug thing, I don't know any company's gonna, it's gonna, you know, say, oh, you know what, you smoke some herb, it's all right, come, come get in, this, you know, eighty thousand pound vehicle, it's fine. No, no, it's not fine. Put that stuff away, give it up. It's not worth it. Um, the only habit I had, like I said, had, was uh, cigarettes. I used to be a heavy smoker. I mean, for crying out loud, I started smoking when I was about 14, 15. 
and I smoked for over 20 some years. Um, and that was, that was a big thing for me, uh, was smoking. And believe it or not, what helped me to stop is me and my wife decided to try to quit together, cold turkey at the same time. Um, so it was kind of like an inspiration to each other to try to quit, although mine didn't last too long because I fell off the wagon a couple of times. But um, once I started training other drivers and then I went on to teaming, that's what made me really uh, give up smoking because nine times out of 10, the people I trained with, or people I was, I was uh, teaming with, or the persons, person I should say, I was teaming with, they weren't smokers. And that was a problem that was hard for me when I was training, I was trying to find a student, you know, who, did, who, who was a smoker. And, you know, of course I could always say, this is my truck, you gotta follow my rules, but that wasn't it, you know, it was, it was time for me anyway, it was time for me to quit. And uh, here we are going on, um, what is it, it's been six years now since I quit smoking? So yeah, it, it, I don't regret it. It feels good. Um, I feel healthier. I don't have smoker's cough, or chest pains, and none of that stuff. Um, it's just something that you gotta put your mind to and you gotta really wanna do it. And same thing, you know, with, with smoking weed or using any drugs, if you, you gotta put your mind to it that you're gonna quit if you wanna get in this truck industry. If you wanna be a truck driver, you really gotta put that stuff down. Um, so, I don't know. Oh, and by the way, I, I see it all the time. I read it on social media. People say, oh, you know what? You can do this, or you can try this. You can take these pills. You can do that. You clean your Don't do none of that. Don't do it because it, you're going to be in a world of trouble if they find out you falsified and you use uh, some type of enhancement to clean your urine or if you use somebody else's urine then you're really gonna be in trouble then it's gonna go into your record and you don't want that you do not want that just leave it leave it alone altogether guys just leave it alone altogether I don't know man let's talk about it let me know what you think you think they should overlook people who smoke marijuana to drive trucks what do you think you think it's no big deal do you have a problem with it like I do what you think let me know, y'all. It's your boy, G-Man the Trucker. Signing off again. Peace. God bless.